Today, we join the French explorer Jean-Jacques Cousteau on his journey through the galaxy. We are going to visit the planet Latvis Pele. I am Jean-Jacques Cousteau and this is LET'S PLAY SPORT! Yeah, forget the French voice. This is Aishis and it's time for another Let's Play Sport, to be more precise, episode 8. And today we have a special guest with us. Everybody that say hello to the dreaded... Fiery Vampire Octopus. Rawr. That was very manly. Yay. Anyways, we're eating these. Let's play sport! Well, you might you make it sound like some sort of crazy... Uh, oh, wait. We've got some Alndor here that require... Killing. That's what it sounded like to me. It sounded very manly. Yeah, it sounded more like... The way you said it, it sounded more like an angry Scotsman. Let's play sport! <laughs> I prefer a ranting Swede to angry Scotsman. A what? If that makes any sense to any of you, I will be shocked and horrified. A what? Would you prefer? A Swedish? A ranting Swede. Ah. A ranting <laughs> Swede for you then? <laughs> Does it sound anything like a Swede? <laughs> I am totally not from Norway. You killed an Andor, you heartless bastard. We always kill Andor. And of course I'm a heartless bastard. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> now we're going to make them extinct. Bye bye, Andor. Feel free to call Greenpeace if you believe that this is against a pure and blue world. For those of you who get that reference, Congratulations with being an Ataco or Weebo, whatever uh, term you prefer. Weabo. Actually, the term people would call me is Weabo, but I prefer Otaku. Yeah, that's what all Weebo say. <laughs> because Weabo is essentially like, you're such a Weabo, it's like an insult. Yeah. Anyways, if you got the pure and blue word for uh, reference, we've got Perska over here. Who made Perska? I believe Ezekiel. No, I thought it would be Himmelslav with the shapes, but Himmelslav usually makes them more uh, complicated, true. Well, this is Ezekiel. Pity he stopped playing. Anyways, let's see. Uh, let's do this Myra here. Kill them, kill them, kill them all! Maria! And Perska. Oh, it's so much let's lag. Let's sing Days here up to this because, yeah, I feel like it. And really, for these guys, it is Days here. Mozart's D is Murder! Who, uh, Murder! I prefer Murder! Uh, for those of you who are wondering, by the way, I prefer Mozart's D's Ire over uh, Verdi's, but that's a personal preference. <laughs> I assume you feel the same about it, if only because Mozart's one was used in the zombie. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> Wee. They're both great pieces of work, though. Yep. Well, the DS area by Verdi is pretty good, but the rest of the Rackian uh, isn't that much my style. Yeah. Whereas Mozart keeps intriguing. Oh, wait. We've got... Hey, it's, it's trying to intervene. It's trying to die. It's suicidal. It's emo. It's an Stupid emo. Stupid emo! It's an emo kid. Nonconformist this can be. You, would be you can be nonconformist too if you look just like me. I've got paint on my nails and makeup on my face. I'm almost emo enough to start shaving my legs. <laughs> You're making a fool out of yourself. I was going to say if you if you were just like he, but you need to be emo, don't you? Yeah, I would sing the rest of that song too, but the next couple of lines I do not like. Oh, I forgot to. I forgot to uh, rec uh, record the time. Do you have any idea when we started? Because. No, I don't, actually. Uh, let's have a look at that for a second. We're at it for 280 seconds, which would count down to, I don't know how many minutes, divide by 60 and two minutes. Uh, wait, that's About 600 seconds is 10 minutes, so we haven't been going for too long. Yeah. We'll just keep checking that regularly. Oh, here we have my own arrow fault. 
Arafal, Arafal. Hello, Arafal. I still see the Atos. You're murdering them! Yeah, of course we're murdering them. I'm going to be a freaking <laughs> predator. <laughs> it's my purpose hey, in life. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not murdering them. They're murdering us. Run for it! <laughs> Run for it! Run oh, for us! Run! Hey, they're killing each other. Atos. Does that mean there's a Portos and uh, D'Artagnan and uh, what's the other guy's name again? Aramis, yes. Yeah. Does it mean those are here too? Because you just have Atos here, that's a bit, I don't know. You know, I've never actually read The Three Musketeers. No, I haven't read them either, but I've seen the movies, a couple of them. Now, oh wait, we, let's see if we can get anything nice out of this because yeah, I don't feel like anything else. Um, uh, hey, wait a second! This is supposed to be my nest, and there's nobody here. Let's dance. Hey, it Woo, came out of dance. nowhere. Do the silly dance. Do the silly dance. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pause it here for all you watchers because I don't want to bother you with a bunch of downtime because I'm doing silly dances. We're back! Yeah, we're back. we're back! We're back, we're back, we're back! We did it, we did it, we did it, we are back! We managed to make this thing even more horrifying than it already was. We also managed to move to another nest. Look, this is how it looks now to all you people who weren't paying attention to how we were mutilating our little creature, which should be most of you. Okay, I put a timer on now based on how much time we have left. So we know what we're doing now. Yay! No, I wouldn't say that. Okay, I'm going to skip this growing up thing. I'm going to add this guy to my pack because really, we do not want to head out with just one the person behind us. The more people you have in your group, the easier it is to escape these uh, big epics. Do you know why? Ow. Tell me, Fiery Vampire Octopus, do you know why it is easier to escape epics with a big group? Because they would rather kill your friends than kill you. No, actually, they apparently want you to be very depressed. Now, what I was thinking about is more in the lines of, uh, along the lines of. Uh, when you have a lot of people around you, you do not have to run faster than the epic. You just need to run faster than the slowest member of your group. Hey look, these are no. Jindal. They were created during an attempt of me to play this game at hard mode. Which for the cell stage is quite doable, for the creature stage get a lot harder. And we've got Sivagor as well. Some early silly version of them. And here we have more parts. And a big oh no wonder there's a lot of there's a lot of parts here. There's this no big textures on the jindles. Yeah. But they really <coughs> were purple. Yeah, you sound like that big epic there. <laughs> Sorry. But the epic is too busy feeding on random critters, so I believe they were those Glogar by Izito again. And he's feeding on Yes, it's Glogar. Oh by giant Ezekiel. epic. You don't look like an epic, you look like a tree. Well, yeah, it is really uh, big, flesh eating plant someone used in some adventure. And here we have Ifril, by me, the earlier version, not the version you see in the Quantum Menace, which I might do a part on later when my quests all have bigger, better weapons, such as rocket launchers. Bigger, better weapons that are better and bigger. And kill more stuff. Because really, well, in Spore Galactic Adventures, there's the little you can... Oh, wait. Better. Hey, wait a second. Look at this Look at this thing over here. Look at its size. Now, it is pretty what? big, but it's not... It's bigger than a rogue, but not as big as you would expect from an epic. But let's not try out if it is really as strong as an epic. Because I have no doubt we will be crushed, killed, mangled, and whatever. Oh, great. This isn't a great place for our final nest. 
and you can guess why, because it is not near the sea, and you want your final nest to be near the sea for... Uh, you also want your final nest not to be near an epic, especially yeah, that, one made by Shadow Merch. Yeah, that would be a smart idea, but we can't really have that. No, we're not near one epic, we're between two epics here. Here we have one of these robotic well, exams, which is marching straight to my nest. Let's I get probably shouldn't be eating while well, I'm supposed to be co-commentating. Oh, no. Uh, hey, there's something by me. There's nothing uh, bad around there. There's no bad in eating. Go ahead and eat because we're out of the air, or we're going out of the air, rather. Goodbye, people. Say goodbye to Fiery Vampire Octopus. For this episode, Bye. at least. I'll kill you all.